And this is an up close and personal shot. I, you know, I decided to take a little bit more to show everybody out there how um, Betty gets through this, but she is enjoying this. Um, again, racket deer ribs. Uh, she really just gets in there and devours them. Don't you girl, huh? Oh yeah. Again, just to let everybody, everybody know out there that, um, you know, if you're interested in raw feeding your dog, uh, it, it's a great way, especially if your dog has digestive issues or pancreatitis or um, any other kind of GI issues from uh, eating commercial-grade dog foods that are, uh, you know, overwhelmingly made up of, uh, you know, processed uh, foods and um, byproduct and corn and everything really that dogs are meant to eat, let alone... Um, you know, humans, uh, you know, aren't, aren't supposed to eat it either. And, and, and it's unfortunately, and, and it just a big part of both of our diets. And so Betty here, when she had pancreatitis, we decided to, um, do something about it. And she had a lot of other GI issues that she had ongoing for a long time. And we've been raw feeding her now for, um, about three years. And her favorite food when we raw feed her are, um, is deer. And the part of the deer that she likes the best are deer ribs. And so that's what we're uh, giving her right now. Some deer ribs. Uh, I believe, again, this is somewhere between the, about a pound and a half to two pounds. I gave her about three to four pounds yesterday. And um, it takes her a while. It'll take her a good 15, 20 minutes to get through this. But she takes her time. She enjoys it. It's more of an activity when you raw feed them, which is good for the dog. Um, because it's like... You know, like a dog almost living in the wild that, you know, they, they killed something on their own and they're making it an activity. And that's why dogs actually, not, not only is it better for her, um, you know, from a, from a health standpoint, but it's also better from, for her from a, uh, you know, an activity standpoint and, and kind of getting in touch with, uh, you know, where, where our, these dogs originated and where the breeds, you know, came from and, you know, coming from a place in the wild. So, um, anyway, just wanted to share this and, um. Uh, hopefully, uh, you know, found it informative.